Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Friday Jazz Happy Hour, episode 106 for March 23rd. I hope you're having a good week. Happy Friday to you, and thanks for tuning in here. We are uh, recording this ahead of time as we are on our way to Death Valley to do some camping. But uh, really glad you could join us for this premiere. I hope you got that cool countdown clock at the beginning. That's always a good time. Uh, we're going to start in Brazil, as I've been doing the last couple of shows. Uh, we're going to start with the music of Antonio Carlos Jobim and his composition, Look to the Sky. Thank you. 
That's a look to the sky from Antonio Carlos Jobim. And uh, yeah, still tinkering with this gadget here. This is my new mic stand. And uh, trying to figure out how to get it to be in a good position. But what's cool about it is it does not take up space on the floor. So I'm excited about that. Always trying to improve the apparatus here, y'all, for making a better show. Okay. So let's do another tune, shall we? Uh, I want to now move on to a um, Billy Holiday classic that uh, this arrangement comes fr uh, is derived from uh, something that Keith Jarrett did with his trio. Anyway, this tune is called God Bless the Child. Hold on. There we go.
as God Bless the Child from Billie Holiday. As uh, given a little bit of the funk treatment there in a low-key kind of way. All right, now let's get even more mellow. Next, I want to do uh, a vibes tune from Bobby Hutcherson. This one's called Montara. And I've been uh, just a little... Uh, liner notes for you. I've been uh, not quite happy with the the over the like the usual things I do for like reggae um, arrangements weren't working for me. So I went to a more traditional reverb sound, and that helped. And I also decided to use the uh, the trumpet patch on this. I think that works pretty well. So here we go, Montara.
that was a fun ending. Uh, Montara by Bobby Hutcherson is that tune. All right, let me just uh, want to mention a, a tip jar charity today, which is Lutheran Immigration and Relief, uh, excuse me, Lutheran Immigration and Refugee Services. That's L-I-R-S dot org. I talked about them two or three weeks ago. They're continuing to do really important work around the world, but especially in Ukraine, where the number of refugees uh, is just growing so rapidly. So um, uh, they're very efficient with their money. You can feel sure that everything you donate is going directly to the folks in need. There's uh, no overhead costs there, and it's uh, an organization I really can recommend. So in lieu of an actual tip jar, if you like what you hear, I wish you would... Uh, go over to lirs.org and send him a few bucks and tell him Bill sent you. Thanks. All right, now we're going to play the blues by way of Sesame Street. Um, or Electric Company, I guess. Anyway, this is original tune that I wrote from uh, a riff off of uh, Electric Company. And this song is called 1112.
Eleven Twelve is the name of that tune. And uh, happy memories watching that show. We, did you watch that when you were a kid? I I watched it a bunch. Um. Yeah. Okay. So got some adjustments to do here on mic stand. Wants to kind of nudge me off my center line. Uh, we'll get that figured out for next time. Let's see now. What are we gonna do next? Oh, right. Next, we got to get our waltz in. As you know, I'm a big waltz fan. So this one uh, from the Disney uh, movie songbook um, is uh, called Alice in Wonderland.
I love it. You know, if you got that little clonk there at the end, that's the simulation of letting go of the keys on that sound, which is really fun. Alice in Wonderland is that tune uh, known to me because of uh, many Bill Evans recordings. Um, it's so funny. I uh, was at a work meeting and they asked me uh, as a icebreaker, if you had a time machine, what would you do? And I, you know, those questions, you shouldn't really think about them, right? You should just answer them impulsively. And so I said, I would go back to, uh, I forget what the date is, like April 12th, 1961, so that I could be at the taping of Bill Evans at Vill Sunday at Village Vanguard, which is when he made his most famous recording of that tune, at least an early one. What, what a jazz nerd. Okay. Uh, next, I want to do uh, another original one for you. And this one, um, I really was uh, inspired by, um, there's a guy up in Canada, and I won't be able to pronounce his name, but I'll take a stab at it. Um, uh, Gurdeep Pandur, I think is his name. He does these uh, Punjabi dance videos up in Canada. I think uh, Bangra is the right name for this style of dancing. And um, it's so, it's just so joyful. It's so fabulous. And so um, this tune, which was, was originally called Alberta and which now has some uh, tabla sounds in it that made me think of that. So uh, I want to send this one out to... Uh, I want to send this one out to Gurdip. Keep doing what you're doing, man. It's beautiful. Uh, so we'll call this Ode to Bangra. Sorry, y'all. Something Sorry. funny is going on there. Just a sec. There we go.
road to Bangra. That was fun. Thank you for coming along on that. Uh, let me see. Um, if you can hit that like button on this video, that would be very helpful. It helps other people find the show. And uh, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel also, and that'll let you know when we're on the air. So I am going to uh, now wind down by uh, just making something up here as we've been doing the last few shows, which has been a lot of fun. So let's take a deep cleansing breath. Maybe a little sip of uh, vino tinto. All right. Enjoy. All right, friends, that is going to do it for Friday Jazz Happy Hour episode 106 
for March 25th. And uh, I have a feeling I just put the wrong date on that title card, didn't I? That's all right. Um, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Um, you can hit that like button. You can also check out FridayJazzHappyHour.com for our uh, archive and see a list of charities. Remember uh, to check out Lutheran Immigration and Refugee Services, LIRS.org, um, to help out with what's going on in Ukraine and a bunch of other places. Uh, we will be back with something in the channel on uh, April 1st. Hoo-hoo, April 1st, y'all. Hmm. Time to mess with the format, maybe. I uh, don't know exactly what that's going to be, um, but it's going to be something interesting. So um, do hope you'll join us. And until then, stay healthy, stay hydrated. Uh, happy Friday. Have a great week, y'all. Talk to you later.